visual alerts. From the very beginning, the Android system has had a notification system built into the core operating system. That means developers didn't have to develop their own way of sending alerts to the screen or to the notification system. They just tapped into the current uh, technology, the technology that was already built there. So the way the alert system expresses itself or notifies you, there are auditory alerts along with visual alerts. The visual alerts, generally speaking, express themselves in the alert system. So on screen, you'll see a screenshot of, uh, this is an Android tablet, and I've dropped down the alert system on the left-hand side, and you'll see all of my alerts. The alerts are anything from emails to whatever, however I have set up each individual program to alert me, and the kinds of alerts that I want in that program, then it will present this information in this one central area. Now, what's really nice about the alert system within the Android environment is you can actually execute commands within the alert. So, for example, I can actually reply to an email without actually launching. I mean, I'll, I'll eventually launch my email, but I don't have to see the email, then tap on the email to launch the email application, to read the email, to then reply to the email. I can just see the email in the alert system, and if I want to reply to it immediately, I tap on reply, and it'll open up the reply window, and I just start typing. Each program within the apps area has settings to be able to control how and what gets alerted and when. Further, in most of the programs within its individual, inside the program, in Inside the individual settings of that program, you will also find even greater choices in most programs. So you have to look at the programs. There are a lot of different options. There aren't a lot of restrictions on this in terms of the uh, developer. So the developers can do all sorts of visual alerts. It all just depends on what the developer wants to do. 